What's up guys, John here from Broad Coach and we are live with episode number three the go home edition of Hellfire Wrestling Brimstone. Chapter one where it all begins is this weekend this week we got ourselves a stacked card. Is, let's get into our first uh, matchup. First matchup of the evening, everyone. The other day I jumped into a taxi. Oh, hey, that was weird. Anyways, in our first matchup, we'll have two debuting. Female competitors, as we have Rachel Diamond going up one on one with Ivy Jones, making both their debuts here in Hellfire Wrestling. This should be a good matchup, seeing what these two uh, newbies can do. <laughs> ah. Let's get this match underway. And coming out first, the lovely Rachel, a diamond. Coming out of the ring cockily. In <coughs> <coughs> We're going to show everyone what exactly she got going here. She needs to be focusing though because her opponent is is her an unknown she, it'd be best not to underestimate her opponent <laughs> and here she is Comes and in the green, Ivory Jones. <laughs> Not much is known about either of these two, but you get to believe that they're going to give it their all tonight for this matchup and their debuts here. You know, our first in our still new women's division. Versus Diamond, Abby Jones, ready. AJ hey, Rod, you got a matchup tonight. Richard Diamond with the early advantage here. Or oh, viewers. What? Anyways. Ivy with that Hurricane Rana. Taking control of the matchup against Richard Diamond. How's everyone doing today? Wait, Ivy missing that dropkick. Giving Rachel Diamond an opportunity to take control and showboating right now. Irish in the corner for a cartwheel handspring. Down here on the ropes. Just to send her flying. Right. 
get straight to the back. What a brutal attack. Knee to the chest, and she hits the spear. Lifts her up by her hair. Tosses her into the corner for another spear to the back. He's a jawbreaker. Go for Enziger and misses into another Hurricanrana. Get to the face. But Ivy is in, stays in control. And whips her right back into that ring. For another Hurricanrana. Rachel desperately needs to get back into this with a single head draw kick. This is no time to showboat. You are on the def supposed to be on the defensive. But whatever. Off the ropes. Ooh, that was nasty. Seeing her across the ring into the middle ropes. Ivy's unaffected. Ivy with a gore. Pulls her away from the ropes, going for the pin. One, two, and only a two count. Richard Diamond is not going down that easily. Off the ropes, over the ropes, to the outside, going to the outside early in this matchup. <laughs> Ivy has her by the hair, dragging her across the arena Three. to the corner punch. Rachel is getting shining to show signs of life, but it's too late. Rachel with some dirty heel tactics cutting Ivy off. Ooh, what a super kick. Go for pin. One, two, and a kick out. Rachel Diamond is getting a little frustrated right now, but she is in firm control of Ivy Jones, sending her to the outside this time, knocking her to the floor. I am still getting used to commentating, so please forgive. Over time, it will get better. Slides into the ring. For Ivy to take control once again. Got to the gut for a northern right suplex. To the top rope. Could this be it? Going for it. For a diving code breaker. One, two. Three and Ivy Jones defeats Rachel Diamond. What a matchup we had there! Ruined by my off of commentary. As we had. A super kick from Richard Diamond, which I thought could was the turning point for this match for her, but it was not. Ivy Jones decided to stop playing around and hit that Northern Northern Light Suplex 
into the code breaker. And with that, she picked up an impressive victory. On the way to chapter one, where it all begins, Ivy Jones with an impressive victory. I have been hearing from our general manager, uh, Logan Miller, that there could be something in store for the women at at um, chapter one. Well, that could be. It's still a mystery to me. But apparently, he wants. He has big plan. He has a big planned announcement coming this uh, this weekend. This pay per view. Yeah, drinking my water here before the matchup starts. Our next matchup is. Torres Everett Nelson versus one third of the kingdom Max Ryder. We have the American Ghoul Torres E. Nelson going against. The giant, the tattooed bound giant, Maximum Rider. And here we go. Coming out first. From Las Vegas, it is Torres Everett Nelson. Earlier today, with Torres, last week actually, let's start last week. Yeah. Yes, yes, they can. Okay. Last week, after Torres defeated Tyson, yeah, after his match with Tyson Cage, both men were attacked by Joe Terry and Max Ryder of the Kingdom. And so this tonight, this tonight, they're both be facing a member of the kingdom. But prior to this matchup, I got a chance to talk with Torres Everett Nelson, and he said, and I quote, that the kingdom is just jealous. Of the perfect, the ten of it. Hellfire Wrestling, the American girl that they are jealous that they are not the American girl. They're jealous that they're not Teres Everett Nelson. So tonight he is looking to prove it against Max Ryder that he is indeed. The perfect ten of Hellfire Wrestling. Here we go, and here is one of here is our first look at the kingdom. Oh, okay, yep, okay, I remember now. There is George King, the leader of the kingdom, and his 
two attack dogs. His two soldiers, Joe Dirt in the purple and Max Ryder in the gray. No problem, J, J Rod. Here we go. The biggest men in Hellfire Wrestling. I uh, hope Therese knows what he's doing. This getting in the face of George King, that is not a smart idea. Talk, you can see in the background, he is talking smack. I also was able to catch up with uh, with George King earlier tonight. He said that it's he that the kingdom does attack attack them to show that they are the dominant force here in Alpha As we start off with Max Ryder hitting a massive clothesline on. Uh, Max on Therese Everett Nelson. Therese not starting out the match the way that he would like. But Max Ryder already has it in the corner. Getting a suplex. George King is excited here for this. Max. Was f Torres is finally getting some offense in here. Not the way that Torres wanted it to start. Ugh, and it's still not going his way. With the big boot taking him down. Max tosses him into the corner. Getting splashing into nothing. Off the ropes. Ooh. Yeah, a comment drop giving Perez enough room to work. Can he pull it off back right off the ropes into the corner once again? Ooh, what a chop that was. You hear that up in the rafters. Setting him up in the tree of woe. George King again excited for this. George King will be, both George King and Jodo will be in the match later tonight. First to cover, one, only a one count. Both Jodo and George King are in matches later tonight. Jodo will be facing Tyson Cage later on in our co-main event. And George King will team with his opponent at the page view. Uh, uh, Mason, uh, no, Aaron Cade, sorry about that, at, at Blaine Block for there, fighting off against the debuting Arabian hit squad, Muhammad and Abraham Ali, the super kick though that throws hit had no effect on the giant, Max Ryder, Therese, He's in a world of hurt right now. George King is loving it. Like Sweet Perez has a chance to rebound here. Knee strike to the face. Go for the third. One and only a one count. Uh, on his feet, on his shoulder, for the death ballot driver. George King on the rope, distracting the American Bull, giving Max Ryder time to get some revenge in here. But Perez is the dragon through. Kick straight to the chest. 
Ooh, knee straight to his back. Drags him away from the ropes. Going for another knee snatch here. Up to the top rope. Looking for that elbow drop, I believe. Yep, hits that. Divine Jewel Drop. Look at him. One, two, and only a two count. Max Ryder kicks it out. Start to the. Looks right for the gut, but he hit the chest. American, the American Jewel Drop. in. Why? He is the perfect pin with that strut. But showboating is not the name of the business. The name of the business is Viking. And showboating does not get you that far. But right now he is in firm control of Max Rogers. Up on the shoulder for another Death Valley driver. One, two. And another kick out. Setting him up. What is he looking for here? Wants him on his feet. Oh, whatever he's going for, Max countered. But Perez, with the quickness, hit that spinning DDT. Whatever. Whatever Max is going for, he cannot he cannot seem to hit. Shot send him through the air. Here Okay then. Perez smartly rolling to the outside. The he couldn't get hit with whatever Max Rogers is going for. Max crashes and burns to the ground. Max taking a second to get his breath before re entering the ring and getting the exact same thing that happened before. Go for the pin. One, two, and a kick out. Stop to the back. Good one. Right. Be sure to use this right to us on Broad Culture. All past broadcasts will be on Broad Culture for the remaining remainder of time. Go dirt. On the outside, watching. It's Perez. is another uh, Death Valley driver as George King is now distracting ref. Saving Max Ryder from the pin. Here we go to the top. He's going for another one of those uh, good drops. Going for the pin from that one, two, three, and Trez Everett Nelson just picks up the victory. What is this? Looks like a little bit of sportsman shit. Hey, wait. George King and and uh Joseph Joseph Dirt behind them. Take it out. Taking out Torres and Nelson beating him down. They placed him on George King's shoulder for the royal flush. What a coward react. Taking advantage of Torres's sportsmanship. What a shame that was. But there's no Tyson better hope that somebody will somebody maybe Perez can come out and help him in his matchup later tonight against Joe Dirt. But right now, 
we got ourselves a triple threat match as we have the returning bloody justice um j rock neat fuck okay we have our we have jared Leon coming back and he will be facing off against dominic black and john reed both men got knocked out of the uh of the championship tournament last week waiting for a rebound here but j Rod was kicked out in the first week here comes j Rod. Coming out of the bloody florist, looking for a matchup here tonight. Looking for a fight, looking for some blood to be spilt. And here comes his first opponent. Here comes John Reed. The fallen angel. You can read his shirt. It says the fall. Symbolizing that his opponents will fall, that no one is safe. John. Thank you, Tiffany Noble Hayes, for the follow. Much appreciated, much appreciated. John looking to get back on his that winning that winning mentality that he was he had that first week in the main event against Crow but tonight he is looking to get to be to win this triple threat match to no problem Tiffany if you want to join uh, us here, hashtags are HFW. I get your call as soon as tonight, as soon as the show is over, or whatever. This you need to send me a whisper. But next is the rookie, the app watching nightmare, if you will. Is Dominic Black? My voice is still hurting from whenever I went to wrestling. Wrestle. I find him. I got whiplash in my neck, so my and my voice is shot right now. So I have a rasp to my voice. But.
Dominic Black looking at his two opponents here. Wondering what is his best course of action against the two. The what? FX? FFX? Um, what's the FFX son? All three men are ready here. Don go straight after Jer Jared Leon. Well, Going in straight for the pin too. Going for the early finish. Dominic still showing his rookie rookie prowess, but going straight after the veteran John Reed. Oh damn, Jerry Leon from out of nowhere was a massive clothesline. Oh okay okay. Jared taking down both competitors and now choking out John Reed, which is a smart, smart idea. He is the veteran of the two, but Dominant Black is the powerhouse of this of the trio in this match, and he's going for those kicks, taking Jared Leon out of the ring, needing Titan to recover up on his shoulder. Going to chin them against the ropes, crashing and burning. Only for a one count, though. Jared's back in the ring, going for the punches. Non stop matchup here. Going to miss a clothesline into a clothesline of his own, into a forearm from John Reed. From out of nowhere. John. Getting his legs stripped from underneath and throwing it to the ropes, going under him, taking a, a quick breather here. As they're hitting the Uranagi on, on, uh, dominant black. Dominant going for the legs down. John back to his feet. Hitting an elbow drop right before uh, Dominic could hit the uh, leg twist, giving more double teaming on Jared. Now they're fighting it out for themselves. Off the put on to the second rope, grabbing his neck. What is John doing here? Ah, oh, neck breaker. Sending him, but Dominic is back in control here. Ferg's damn, Jared just took out two men with one bro. What a, what a match, John with the super kick, but Dominic with a Yurnagi setting him up for his last ride. Got him up, lift him up in the air, down to the mat, going for the pin, one, and Jared says it for himself as he, they trade punches, the Jays and the Boos are coming in, hammer lock, Jared gets out of quickly, toss straight over his shoulders, John just kicked up, forearm, Going for the pin. One, two, and only gets the two count. Sets him up. Welcome, Wiz Boss. Nice to see you show up. The far 
John, it's the fall. You can't go for the pin. Dominic Black's here. Big boots. Dominic, go for the pin on Jared. Not John. What are you doing, man? One. Pin De Jared is your best option here. John. Ball. Jared is back to his feet. Four on to the face. Stuns Jared. Did not long enough for John. He is caught into the sidewinding gut buster. He rolls through the outside. Oh, into the. Oh, God. That was. No, that was not pretty. Into the pin, though. One, two, three. Jared Leon with victory after that spinning reverse STL. That was one spectacular match. You can see there the year Nagi from from uh, Dominant Black. And here is the right before the fall. As Jared kicks out of the forearm. Here's the fall. But Dominic was not was out. I think that was your finisher, I think. I believe. Jared Leon with the victory. J Rod, if you want to send me um uh a finisher a sig signature whisper and a entrance and victory details, please do. And uh, I will do that. But in our next matchup, it looks like Tyson Cage could not find anyone to come out and help him. It's going to be, so it's going to be a three-on-one assault again. And I am going to have John, I am going to be controlling George King. Actually, I'm controlling Max Ryder because he will. No, fuck no. I won't. I'll be down here. I'll be a nice boy. Yeah. But again, last week after his match with Torres E. Nelson, both Tyson and Torres was attacked brutally by the Kingdom. And earlier tonight, after Torres's victory over Max Ryder. He w they were both attacked. Torres was attacked once again by the kingdom. Let's get this match underway. Here we go. Here he is, Tyson Cage, the A-lister, the movie star. How are you doing, DJ, DDJJ77? I do not have none of those. I have none of those. How are you doing today? There is, I can show you the rosters after the main event, which is the next, the match after this. There's only 22 people so far on the roster. This is a man and woman's roster. This, how are you doing, DJ? Uh, Double D, how are you doing? Okay, bye. Tyson Cage, the A list of the movie star. He was Moon Knight at one point. He is set to star in the next Avengers movie. In K Fabe term. 
But here comes his opponent. Anyway, I got it, J-Rod. Um, here are his opponents. Joe Dirt right there. That is that monster of a man is his opponent. Accompanied by George King and Max Ryder. The Kingdom. Looking to dominate this matchup here. Remember to check out Broad Culture, the YouTube channel that have a bunch of uh, wrestling related content, gaming content, Pokemon content, music content, sports content. Again, Tyson Cage getting in the face of George King, talking smack to him, saying that he's going to do what Therese did earlier tonight and beat his monster, Joe Dirt. George is just laughing in his face, saying, if he. saying. Good luck. Here we go. They're ready. Tyson Cage, George K and Joe Dirt. Joe with a massive clothes on to start the match off. Lifting him up into a leg sleep. Tyson looking for it to get some advantage here in early going as Joe hits a sideline angle slam. A leg drop from the big man. Dragging him away from the ropes. So that he can get a snap mare on him. For a big man, he is quite agile. As a leg trap. A uh, leg drop there. Kick to the chest. And stepping on that forearm, destroying it. Hitting Tyson, trying to get him back into his, his punch in the gut. But Joe just pushes him off. Going for the pin early here. One, only a one count. Forearm to the face. Sidewalk slam, knee back breaker. Punch to the back has no effect. Now it has no. Okay then. He got, Joe just got tired of getting punched in the back and just tosses him across the ring. Joe's already saying this is too easy before getting an elbow to the face closed on had no effect that knife breaker did no it did not forearm to the face a big closed line this him up to his feet going for that suplex slam there. One, two, and only a two count. So, surprise. Yeah, it's going to take more than just a signature. Setting up for his finisher here. The dirt bomb incoming. The dirt slam, sorry. One, two. It, Tyson kicked out, but the forearm had no effect. A knee to the gut, big boots, planting him firmly on the mat. And Tyson was a kick to the face. Forearm off the ropes, over the ropes. Gis getting tossed. 
like a rag doll. Joe Dirt is very, very happy with himself. For a northern right suplex, rope break. Tyson able to pull off an arm drag on the big man. Tyson set, telling the fans he got this. That's a chop block. Oh, what a counter by T Joe Dirt. Oh, oh, one, two. Oh, he almost stole it from Joe. Forearm countered. He hits the code breaker. It could be over. One for the pin. Ref. One. Two. And Joe kicks out. That was a close one. Joe was not expecting that. Backs him away from the ropes for another knee drop. Tyson grabbing at his gut. He is sore right now. Going for the pin. One, two, only a two count. You have to think that Tyson, Therese is in the back watching to, in case something uh, screwy happens. Like, and he would come out. Ooh, another one of those suplex slams. Setting him up for a dirty slam. Up on the shoulder. Boom. Dropped. One, two, three. And Joe Dirt picks up the victory. Here was the code record from uh, Tyson Cage. Came out of nowhere. We thought that it could have been over right there, but Joe Dirt fought through the pain. He kept on fighting. As you can see, the suplex slam once again. As Joe Dirt is now celebrating in the ring. The kingdom on the outside celebrating as well. They're circling Tyson Cage. Oh my God. They're going to attack him once again. Not this way. Not this way. Oh. There comes Torres A. Nelson. What's that still chair in sand? Sitting the kingdom on the run to the backstage area. Therese and Tyson are at ringside here. Therese standing over top of Tyson with his steel chair protecting him. Where's but George King has a match right now. He's teaming with his opponent at uh, chapter one. He's teaming with uh He's teaming with uh, Aaron Cade, the psychopath Aaron Cade. Against not an easy team. He's teaming up against the debuting uh, Arabian hit squad. Let's get this match underway.
It is our main event. As out comes first, Psycho Circus himself, Aaron K. New look to Aaron K here. Oh, unfortunately, I had the pleasure of talking to him earlier tonight. He is one creepy son of a bitch. He, as I was talking to him, he, um, got all up in my face telling me that, you know what, I got a shot at, at the Hellfire Rest, become Hellfire Wrestling's first world champion in two years. I might as well class it up. I might as well bring in the tights, bring in a new t-shirt. Become a better Hellfire Wrestling competitor. Become a competitor that the psychopath deserves. It was quite a scary, scary conversation. But George King is making his way back out to the ring. George King, he is a decorated champion in in CMV. Currently working in WTX as well as CMV and here. Those are your three places you can catch him. Oh, excuse me, I uh, congested right now. I am not feeling well. The voice is starting to come back. That's a good thing. Let me get a drink of water before this match actually starts. But George King is in the ring. Do we expect having a a mixed night already? Max Ryder wasn't able to pick up the victory in his matchup earlier tonight against Perez. But, Joe, but they were able to beat him down after the match. Then Joe Dirt was able to beat Tyson Cage, but they were unable to attack him as the uh, as Tor as he Nelson came out for the save. But here comes their opponents: the Arabian Hit Scry. On the left, the, the smaller one of the two, that is Abraham Ali. And the one, the bigger one on the right, it is Muhammad Ali. Their connection to the, the boxer. Both men hailing from Saudi Arabia. As you can see, Aaron Kaidi is talking to himself. It's if I was uh, his tag partner tonight, I would be worried. The debuting Arabian Hit Squad sending out uh, Abraham first against Tyson uh, against uh, Aaron Cage, who is a a stiff right punch, then a Russian leg sweep into hate some smashing Abraham's face into the mat. Just going balls wild, which gives Abraham a chance to uh, counter here. He, get some offense in as you can tell uh, uh, Aaron Cade has a 
has a tattoo under that shirt that he always wears. Now that he has decided to change his look up, you can get a clear view of that that massive tattoo piece on his body. Into the ropes, into his, his own corner, just dodging a punch as he goes for those uh, mount, those side mounted punches there. Lifting him up to his feet, setting him against to his own tag to his own corner, tagging in George King, who are actually working well together against the Arabian Hit Squad. His arm trap, he squishes it, trying to break it, get an early advantage here. A fist drop. George already taunting the crowd, saying that he's better than them. They're all his peasants, and everyone in this match is his peasants. George. Oh, getting countered. Abraham finally getting some momentum in this matchup here. Sending him into his corner. Are we going to see Muhammad in this matchup? Tag. Here he comes, the big man of the group, of the duo. With a double hip toss. Shot to the back. Kicks to the lower legs into a Mitchell Nuka driver. George King roasted outside, but Mohammed is right there to catch him. He has him up on his shoulders, dropping him on the steel steps. What a heel! They're fighting on the outside, dragging him to the apron. Rolling him inside, but leaving. Oh! Sakabath just paid for trying to interfere there. Getting pushed to the outside. This Muhammad is no, not a man you want to uh, play around with. Taking it to George King. Trying to snap his arm out of place. A little bit of. Retribution for what happened to uh, Abraham earlier in the earlier in the match. Since Muhammad come in, it's been all uh, Arabian hit squad. Lifting him up for the Mitch Nuka driver once again going for a pin now one only a one count. The agility of the of Muhammad as he lifts him up on his shoulders, dropping him in for that whoop assisted uh, stun gun. And a snap suplex now. Muhammad is dominating the King, George King here. Up on his shoulders. The Royal Flush out of nowhere. Abraham distracting, um, tried to distract the ref. One, but long enough for him to get a two count. Where did that come from? Because he, George King was getting dominated there in the earth. Aaron K is back in the ring. It was that dreaded neck wrench. Hitting a clothesline. Kick to the back. Muhammad back in control for the Arabian hit squad. Looking for a tag? Is he looking for a tag out? He is to Eric. Back comes in Abraham. A hammerlock DDT. Going for a pin. Vote break though, unfortunately. For 
uh, Abraham, but what a net breaker. That force behind it. Oh, I'm a oil cutter. Then a single knee face breaker. What's up? The Saco Pass, Saco Circus now. And drags him towards, throws him over the rope, sending him to the outside. Push to the side of the head, forearm, sending Aaron K to a knee, shot to the back. Nerve forearm to the back, and a jumping net breaker. Lift him up. Jared, thank you for staying with us throughout the years. Barra sits count here. Sending Abraham back into the ring. Aaron Cade looking to tag out to George King. Or not. He's staring. George King is all right telling him to tag him in, but he's not. Staring at Abraham. Well, there we go. Okay, got worried there for a second. Lift them up on his shoulder for the Samoan driver. The Sacco driver, if you will. Or for the pin. One. But Hobbit able to break it up. George takes out the ref as Aaron K takes out Muhammad. Lifts him up. Going for a clothesline. Another double arm clothesline. Hitting a a power slam there. Lifts him up. Countered, whatever he was going for, and he hits a net breaker. Abraham throws him into the corner. Close line. Mohammed is back in the ring. It might be a smart idea to uh, to uh, tag out any of that uh, spinning uh, knee strike there. Double team action here on the. George King. Super kick in the Gurry combo. Knocks him out code. Mohammed is back on the apron now. Could they go for the tag finisher here? Drags him away from the ropes. Stomp to the gut. Kick to the chest. Aaron Cade, George King. This has been one one phenomenal matchup. George and uh, Aaron had a few hiccups, but other than that, they are working well as a unit. And getting that hot tag, Muhammad was not ready for George. Oh, or he was on his shoulder. Hitting him with a detonation kick. Going for the pin off of that one, two, only one count. George King still in this. Mohammed is playing with his, his food now, setting him up for the. Hit list. Going for the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. Aaron Kate has been disposed of. Oh. 
That's not good. Hey, he got out. That's good. Muhammad in front of control of George King here. Aaron K, the psychopath, has been rendered useless right as in right now. He's back in. Oh, one, two, and he breaks it up. He came in from out of nowhere to break it out of two. He's going to pay for it too. Going to get a suplex from Muhammad from the outside. That and he's out once again. Muhammad lifts up George only to get caught with a up European uppercut into the 110th Street Slam. Lifts them up. The World Decree sends them in the corner, but Alex Aaron Kate is not there for the tag. Oh, what a forearm. Hitting a flapjack there. George King, seemingly that he is about to be the end of the match. Boson. Boson. And another clothesline. But Muhammad just gets straight right back up. Stadium head first into the turnbuckle over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. And a spinning heel kick from Muhammad. Setting him up once again for the hit list. He's going for he's going Aaron Cave went for a bunch, but he misses one. Two. Oh, and he gets through right before Aaron. Oh! That was a, that was a nice double team right there. On Aaron K. George King still in, is now in control. Okay, only looking for the Royal Flush. One, two, and Muhammad able to kick out on his own, but Vape Work King. 67, thank you for that follow, man. You are the true MVP. George King torturing Mohammed right now. Is he going to tap? This is with to this modified camo clutch. No, that would have been embarrassing too if that would have happened. It's the Arabian hit squad B from Saudi Arabia and all. Forearm. And a stiff right punch. Sending him into his corner. Do we see double team action here? Choking him out. Sending him into the corner. Tag. What do we have here? A running snapmare into a kick to the back. That wrong time to taunt Abraham. Where was it? Spine Buster out of nowhere going for the pin. One, two, and only get a two count. That was a good double A. Spine Buster, if you get one of me. Yeah, I remember cutting some choppies. Is that you? Yeah. Going for a punch. Get countered by Abraham. And double team action at his finest right now. Not seeing you again, man. Start by no, start restarting up uh, Hellfire Wrestling here. A massive clothesline from uh, Abraham. Fist him up. It's a side Russian race sleep on the outside. A psychopath sending him into the turn into the ring post. 
How have you been? Uh, shopping. The Bahamut wants back into this matchup, but Aaron K is not letting him get a, any closer. Hit to the gut. A cast kick. Now choking out Aaron K getting a piece of his own medicine. Lifts him up. Getting his leg tripped out from underneath him. Why do you only guess? What's wrong, man? Tag out to George King. Off the... For some double team action there. That was, that was nice. Abraham sending in George King into the corner. Getting only to get countered onto the shoulders for the Royal Flush. Harry Cade, can he stop Muhammad? He cannot. Even sending him to the outside. Aaron Cade going back to his side of the ring. Back on to the shoulders. Is he on for another Royal Flush? Yep, just a flapjack. Only you can find out, uh, Shopping, if 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 you ask, talk to them. Worst thing that can happen is they just say no. George King is down, and. Sending him across the ring to the outside, only to get tossed back in like a rag doll. George King for the Royal Decree. Drag him away from the Arabian Hit Squad's corner. One for Ben. One, two, and only a two count. Muhammad wants back into this matchup here. But George King is setting up for the final blow. He is setting him up for the Royal Flush. Going for the pin. Can Eric K stop Muhammad this time? He cannot, but Muhammad missed, but still only a two count. George just took out the refs. George just took the ref out. He has a he has a leg lock bear bear hug locked in here. If Abraham taps, it's on his fault that the ref wasn't there to see. Massive close on there from George King, knocking Abraham out code onto the shoulders for a gut buster. Yeah, like I said, uh, Shopee, the best way to find out is if you ask, tell them, or just hang out, hang out with them and get a feel. The Royal Decree from George King. That was a phone call. I'm sorry, man. Gate to the gut and shots to the chest. Muhammad wants back into this match desperately, but George sending Abraham back into his corner. Dominating this matchup now. Tagging in uh, Aaron Cade for some double team action. For opponents this uh, week, this on upcoming pay-per-view, it's uh, strange to see them working together. Thrust kick out of nowhere, cap kick out of nowhere. Back-to-back -back action. Lift them up for a single knee face buster. <coughs> Staying up for the final kill shot here. Missed the knee. Aaron Cade throws him back into the corner. 
Tags out to George King. Big boot up in the corner. Lifts him up for the. Oh, he gets out of it. He breaks the hold and locks in for a bulldog. Breaks up the eyes on George King in front of the ref. Oh! Oh my God! Aaron K, the cycle back. This suplex Abraham from the ring to the outside. Just dominate. He is destroying Abraham on the outside here. Shot to the gut. Going for a pop, a power bomb on the apron. Oh, oh God! Just destroying Abraham here. Got a count of five here. Forearm. Thrown into the uh, steps there. That yeah, count of seven. Eight. We can have a count out here. Nine. That was a ten count. George King. As him in sets him up back into his corner. Tags out to Aaron Cade. Looking for another assisted boss body. For our opponents, they are working mighty well together. This is scary. Oh, Superman punch Psycho Man punch countered. Back into the corner. They're working too well together. Lifts him up on his shoulder. This could be it. The Royal Flash. It would have been one, two, three. Muhammad barely missed. That was a spectacular matchup. Main event caliber match. The attack, the partner the opponents on next uh, week's pay on the next pay-per-view oh what Hey, Eric Kane, let's George King on his shoulder for the Psycho Man Driver. Damn. Eric Kane standing tall over George King. Recap of the show here. Continue. Now, as usual, we're going to go, we are going to look at the stuff, we're going to advance one week, actually we're advancing to Sunday, to see how everything has changed. Down at the bottom here, sorry at 22 this time, Spencer Nicholas, Dash Ireland, this is the same list, no, okay. Whoever was wondering about the roster page, here is the roster page. 
How are you up here? Um, let's go to the news, see if there's any news. Uh, there's also news from last week that Pinto Motez suffered a minor injury during his match. Although he's still cleared and complete, the threat of further injury should be a concern to the superstar in the superstar's mind. And similarly, Abraham Ali has suffered a minor injury during his match. He is cleared to compete, but has a threat of furthering the injury. That and the teams so far. Okay, guys. That. So the next show we do, which will probably be your Wednesday or Thursday, will be the first pay per view, Chapter 1, where it all begins. Hope to see you all there. From John, from Broad Culture, this has been John. Be sure to give us a follow here on Twitch at Hellishx Hades. But on the, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, give this a like if you liked it. Share it if you loved it. Give us a comment down below if you want to join. I'll give you, help you figure, find out how to join. And give us most importantly, give us a subscribe on Broad Culture. You can find the back catalog of of Hellfire Wrestling and all that good stuff. So until next time, everyone, I'll be seeing ya.